can do this with my eyes closed What's going on my babies? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through our strength and conditioning sessions. These are workouts adapted from our hybrid athlete program that's coming out pretty soon. Hopefully sooner than, than I expect. So we have a cool little group of four incredible athletes here doing the workout today. We have Hogan Gracie. We have Randy Costa, we have Ivan Baranchik, and we have Charlie... I forgot his last name. Charlie. And Charlie Dixon. <laughs> um, all coming from different sports backgrounds. Um, Hogan is coming from a mixed martial arts background, specifically jiu-jitsu. Randy, mixed martial arts. I actually don't know what his, what his like combat sport background is I think wrestling I'm gonna ask him I think wrestling how are you friend? obviously Charlie's a powerlifter and Ivan is a straight up boxer one of the best in the world so really interesting mix of people um, but you know I always say that the principles are many the methods the principles are few the methods are many so we are sticking to the standard, the basics of strength and conditioning. We're trying to give these athletes a broad strength base and get their conditioning, uh, get their conditioning up in their off season. Obviously, the goal here is not to train super specific to their sport, but to give them enough conditioning and, like I said, a broad strength base from which they can then work from when the season begins. So we're breaking down their training into three sessions a week. We have a lower body session, which is today, an upper body session, and then we have a speed session slash uh, full body. So today we're focusing on squats. Today we were doing safety bar box squats to uh, challenging triple. This is, I think, the second time that they're squatting with me. And they have a lot of work to do. I mean, I'm not surprised. Most combat sports programs. Hey! Most strength and conditioning programs out there for combat athletes don't really prioritize strength. There's big misconceptions out there about the role that strength plays in combat sports or in any sport, really. Um, and it just comes from people being uneducated and, and not staying up to date with current best practices so every single athlete in the world every single traditional athlete in the world does strength training to a pretty high level like trying to push their strengths to a to a high level so obviously those same principles should apply to combat sport athletes and that's what we're trying to do here so excited to be a part of their journey as a coach something that i've always wanted to do so i'm really enjoying the interaction between us and, and Simon and I who are coaching the class and the athletes and just kind of trying to problem solve and, and make them, you know, try to minimize the, the weaknesses and the holes that they have in their training currently. piece is gonna be 20 minutes long we're gonna go every minute on the minute that means that every minute you have 60 seconds to complete the amount of reps that we have here for each movement so you have 60 seconds to complete 10 to 11 calories on the assault bike 60 seconds to complete six reps of the sandbag clean pretty heavy weight 50 double unders and 15 kettlebell swings all the way up okay uh, ideally Dexter, no! 
Ideally, you want to get this in about 40 seconds. So pace it too, like don't go all out, get this in 10 seconds and then you're just gassed for the next round. Ideally, you're trying to get 40 seconds. For this one, probably 30 seconds, like you don't want to be taking the whole minute to get six reps. 50 double unders. You guys all know how to do double unders. Yeah, like, but wait, double. Double, yeah. Probably about 30 seconds it should take you. Um, we'll do rowing. Probably about 12, 13 calories. Same thing, about 40 seconds of work. Less than 40 seconds. And then 15 kettlebell swings. This should be about 30 seconds. So the, these are about 30-ish, 30-ish, 40 seconds. These are 40, 45. Um, and we're gonna do five pounds. Treat every round like it's a, it's a round to fight. That's what it's gonna be like. It's four minutes of getting tired as fuck in the clinch or like wrestling on the ground, grappling, you're throwing guy. Like this is gonna be heavy. Then again, tired, fatigue, and then something heavier, more explosive. So every round is it's like a round in a fight. That's what we wanna treat as. Any questions? Let's go. Hey. Back on deck on my fly shit. Finishing out with a core portion, nothing too crazy. I wanted to do something with them that targets both their hips and their core. So we're doing marches with a sandbag carry, and then we're doing side-to-side uh, -side med ball tosses, reactive. That's it. Four minutes here, three minutes there, and then a quick jog around the block, and that's it. Training's done. That's all for today. Pretty complete training session. Really happy with how the boys performed today and stoked to continue seeing how they progress and uh, sharing their journey and our journey as coaches. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to click the like button. If you really, really, really like it, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.